once again, I recommend a healthy dose of uh, psilocybin mushrooms. Uh, three weeks ago, two of my friends and I went to a ranch in Fredericksburg, Texas, and took what Terrence McKenna calls a heroic dose. <laughs> Five dried grams. Let me tell you, our third eye was squeegee quite cleanly. <laughs> They're against the law. You know what happened when I took them? I laid in a field of green grass for four hours, going, my God, I love everything. <laughs> the heavens parted, God looked down and rained gifts of forgiveness onto my being, healing me on every level, psychically, physically, emotionally. And I realize that our true nature is spirit, not body, that we are an eternal being. And God's love is unconditional. There's nothing we can ever do to change that. It is only our illusion that we are separate from God or that we are alone. In fact, the reality is we are one God. Now, if that isn't a hazard to this country, you see my point. How are we going to keep building nuclear weapons? You know what I mean? What's going to happen to the arms industry when we realize we're all one? <laughs> it's going to fuck up the economy. The economy that's fake anyway. <laughs> Which would be a real bummer, you know. See why the government's cracking down on the idea of experiencing unconditional love. It's interesting, it's interesting that two drugs are illegal, alcohol and cigarettes, two drugs that do absolutely nothing for you whatsoever. And drugs that grow naturally upon this planet, drugs that open your eyes up to make you realize how you're being fucked every day of your life. <laughs> Those drugs are against the law. Wow. Coincidence? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure their motives are pure, but uh, 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 isn't that great? Mushrooms grow on cow turds. I love that. I think that's why you giggle the first hour. It's true on cow turds! And then it's in a cow's blood! I know where heaven is! Where? In a cow's ass! I would fucking be puking that about 50 yards with each curl of black dragon. <laughs> Zest dragons. I just think it's interesting to see how people act on their beliefs. You know what I mean? Because like, your beliefs, they're just that. They're not the they're kind of the talk and race. That doesn't make them real. Why I always recommend a psychedelic experience because it does make you realize everything you learned is in fact just learned, not necessarily true. Not all of them
always one guy when you were tripping who wants you to do something to enhance the trip. You know what I'm talking about? You're tripping? Oh, dude, you gotta play miniature golf. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, man. sitting over here watching the pyramids be built by UFOs right now, but get me to that fucking golf course. I'm watching Jesus fly around on the unicorn, but look at that little miniature golf that we just thing to make this trip peak. So you guys can use your legs, huh? Is that I'm turning into a fish right now, and uh, how about I meet you there later? Thanks, I'm pretty fucking tired right now. Thank you. We got pulled over tripping on acid one night, pulled over by the cops. Don't recommend it. Cops don't appreciate fish driving around. They frown on it. Oh my God! Cops are popping on this window. We're staring at them in this mirror. How tall are you? A little pumpkin.